Ultimaker has made their mark in the 3D printing industry by being a powerhouse for professionals and production lines. As interest in these robust machines grows, questions about each feature and capabilities do as well. The pros at MatterHackers are here to lend a hand and answer your questions about Ultimakers. Let's jump right in. All of Ultimaker's most recent machines feature compatibility with the Ultimaker Digital Factory, the Ultimaker developed cloud printing platform. Ultimaker developed a software to turn your 3D models into a format 3D printers can interpret, Cura, and it has a built-in tool to integrate a cloud-based workflow into your pre-processing for G-code creation. By registering each of your Ultimaker 2 Plus connects, Ultimaker S3s and Ultimaker S5s with your Ultimaker Cura account, you can wirelessly connect and send 3D prints to your machines from anywhere in the world. Designers and engineers working in different corporate locations can easily start prints with their colleagues as soon as their 3D models are ready. Not only is this useful for keeping your printers in line and being able to see what materials are loaded at a glance, but you can have your design teams at home sending files to the printers at the office with human interaction only needed for print removal and replacing spent filament. In simplest terms, to get multicolored prints on an Ultimaker, you'll need to be using an Ultimaker S3 or Ultimaker S5, as these have two nozzles. Rather than using a BV print core in the second slot, use the second A8 print core and load it with the second color you would like to use. It's important to note that you need material compatibility in order for the two materials to stick together. So you may need to experiment if you're trying to print with, for example, white ABS in print core slot one and red PLA in print core slot two. Best practices would be using the same material in each print core, just different colors. All Ultimaker 3D printers can utilize any 2.85 millimeter filament, including filament not made by Ultimaker, but there may be some tweaking to the settings you need to do to get 3D prints of the best quality. Ultimaker has partnered with renowned filament manufacturers to include built-in profiles in Cura to take the guesswork out of some materials, like MatterHackers Nylon X or Nylon G. For other materials, all you need to do is select a generic profile to start with and work from there to build out your own custom slicing profile. By not using an Ultimaker brand spool, you will lose the functionality of having NFC chips read from the spool that automatically tell the Ultimaker 3D printer what filament is loaded and the amount of material left on the spool. Instead, you'll have to rely on the flow sensor to detect when filament runs out. Changing the nozzle can be done on the Ultimaker 2 Plus using a 7mm wrench and a new nozzle. But for other Ultimakers, you will need to replace the print core entirely. Each print core is not meant to be disassembled and reassembled. If you would like to have a nozzle swappable print core, there are third party alternatives like the 3D Solex print cores, but you'll not find such an offering within the Ultimaker ecosystem. Ultimaker 3D printers don't have a lot of moving parts, so maintenance with these machines is quick and easy, if you stay regular with it. Remove debris from the chamber and dust off any of the surfaces. Pay special attention to any of the moving parts, like the gantry rods or the Z-axis rods, and check for any loose filament caught in them. Once the area is clear, use a paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol to wipe down every steel rod that moves the gantry, and all eight of them. You'll also want to clean the two Z-axis steel rods and the lead screw that lifts and lowers the bed. Expect the paper towel to pick up quite a bit of dark grease and may take more than one pass to fully remove it. Once it's removed, use the lubricants provided with your Ultimaker to lubricate it. The Unilube oil should be used for rods and the green Magna Lube should only be used on the lead screw. To avoid oversaturating the moving parts with lubricant, add a few drops of the component and move the gantry and bed to spread the lubricant around. And you can do this by hand or with the LCD. Ultimaker's polished and uniform 3D printing experience is a carefully planned project to ensure everyone from newcomer to seasoned veteran can succeed with their machines. These are just some of the most common questions we get about Ultimakers, so if you have any others, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We love to hear from our community. To learn more and to order your own Ultimaker 3D printer today, go to matterhackers.com.